Time to kick things up a notch. So let's get back out to Haymarket, Virginia for some uh, fun with Holly. So as soon as we step All right, good to see you guys. All right, Holly, what do we get ourselves into? Or more importantly, <laughs> what did you get me into? What did you get into? Yeah. All right, so this is Jason Doucette. Here's the most important thing. He, he grew up here in Haymarket, right? So this is his hometown. He also has a business here called Battlefield Jiu-Jitsu. So first of all, tell me about what you love about Haymarket. It's his hometown. Yeah. Right? It's, it's truly always been that small hometown type feel. And as it's grown, it's maintained that. A lot of places when the development comes, you lose that hometown feel. Well, we've been able to maintain that hometown feel. I mean, the fact that someone doesn't leave really says it all, it, it, right? It, it does. Absolutely. It speaks volumes of itself. Uh, but all you right, don't now, just speak with I your voice, right? Paint on this guy. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yes. <laughs> well, that's, that's coming soon. Don't go anywhere. Uh, maybe we should uh, let you give us a demo first before Holly takes it out on me. Does that yeah, sound so good? a quick demo. In jiu-jitsu, it's a self-defense art. Mm -hmm. As it has evolved, we do more sport-specific type activities, but you still have to make sure that you're covering the self-defense stuff. Okay. So if we pan over here to George real quick, okay. and it, let's say George decided he was going to attack Matt, throw a big punch, he comes in, charges in, we take him to the ground. Ooh. Now, he's still holding onto the head. He clears the lock, moves in, attacks, breaks the arm, and stops the threat. All we need is a cage. Exactly. No. Yeah. I feel like I was just watching you. Similar, me. very similar <laughs> stuff, right? You're not going to do that to me, are you? Yeah, as far well, as you know. No, well. I'm not. Okay. Uh, so what? what is the, like, if a basic person walks in, because self-defense is sure. a good thing. It is good for women to learn, Absolutely. learn how to do that. Uh, where would you begin? Usually we start with sport-specific type mm -hmm. movements, get people used to the movements and the positions, and then we'll start introducing them to some basic techniques. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. So come on over here. So Holly, you might have to squat down a little bit, and Joe's going to squat down a little bit. So what I'm going to have you do is duplicate yeah. my movements. I'm duplicating You're going to take, so take your right arm and come around. I don't around, like the way this is going Bringing already. your elbow below the chin. Okay. And then you're going to take your right hand, uh -huh. put it behind the head, and grab your bicep with your left hand. So go underneath your forearm. It's way more complicated. Oh, I see. Wait, okay. Okay. And now from here, yeah. we're going to, don't push the head, just oh. leave your hand. Okay. And now squeeze everything in tight. Okay. So he taps. All right. Oh, I, don't know. I, have, I have that option. Okay, good. Okay, now, now, now we're going to make it a little bit more effective. Instead of oh, squeezing, more, more effective, Steve. we're going to put that in position. Okay. And now just leave your hands relaxed. Okay. And now I want you to just row your shoulder blades. Whoa, you just cracked my neck. Oh, pretty good. That's why they had to reverse You got to give her the copay. It's like a chiropractor now. Exactly. Right. That was great. That is crazy. So that's really interesting, though. Like when you're you're learning about something like this martial arts, your hands relaxed and just rolling your shoulders back was actually more effective than the Absolutely. trying to squeeze as tight and as I, I could. I can vouch for that. I actually felt it more. Even though you released yeah. quicker when you rolled back, I felt the pressure a lot more with the gentle rollback than you did in the looser grip. So you're you learning to be squeeze. efficient with your energy. It's still it, it's violence of action, right? But sure. you're learning how to efficiently apply that so that you're preserving your energy as much as possible while being as effective as possible on the person that you're Wait, applying. Guys, to. we need to have you guys come back in here for a second. Yeah. So, uh, what she just did to me, take care of her for me. <laughs> She's a threat. She's a threat. We got to neutralize this. Security awesome. yeah. Real quickly, though, for people, what can they come and take part in? What all do you offer? Because I'm sure it's a wide range. We offer a 30-day free trial to get people to come in and check it out. And then we also have a self-defense specific class for people that maybe they don't want to get as involved in the mm -hmm. training, but they're still making sure that they're covering their bases, being prepared when they're out and about in town. Yeah. And so we kind of cover the, it's, it's the, the lowest of low-hanging fruit. Yeah. The fundamentals of what you would need to know should a physical confrontation occur. But just knowing that basic knowledge has got to give you so much more confidence, right? It does. Yeah, which, yeah. Is, which is the bottom line. And uh, you can talk to him about living in Haymarket. Yeah. But last thing, how do I get that hair? That's what I uh, really always need. Right? If I could have the self-defense right? skills and that hair, uh, woo, look, now we're talking. Say, I'm going to become a jiu-jitsu champion before you would ever have that hair. Yeah. Anyway, back to you all. We'll You're continue. Gonna, I'm going to say this. She's going to get payback at some point. <laughs> it's going to happen. All right. Good, good work, guys.